If this is your first time or in case you haven't subscribed it, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to never miss any video. Hey, what's up guys, Mr. Android here. And you guys might be thinking that you know everything about your Android device. But there are many things that you are doing wrong with it. So with that being said, let us see what we should not do on our Android device. So the first thing is stop installing this kind of applications. For example, Clean Master, Speed Booster and so on. These applications claims to improve your device performance, but that's not the reality. It tries to force off the background applications, but Android is smart enough to restart it whenever there is a need. So it doesn't make any sense to install these applications. So the next thing is very familiar and we all do this as we assume that clearing the running apps from the multitask window will increase our RAM. But Android is smart enough in managing the RAM. So if you have many apps running in the background and there is a shortage of RAM, Android will automatically close the app that you might not have used for a long time. So if you close the app manually and want to open it again, it will launch from the beginning which results in more RAM and battery consumption. Sometimes, if you want to install some paid apps, we simply download it from the untrusted sites. But if you install it from the untrusted sites, there is a risk of viruses that might affect our device. So I suggest you to download it from the Play Store itself, even if you have to pay for that. Most of you guys install antivirus and it does protect our phone by scanning every application that we install. But if you are downloading apps from the trusted sites, then I don't think that it will have viruses. So there is no need of installing any antivirus applications as it consumes a lot of your RAM in the background and it will definitely slow down your device. The main concern that we have in our Android phone is the battery life and we download many battery saver apps that claims to improve our battery. But it does the exact opposite. It just force close the background apps which will result in more battery consumption. So I suggest you not to download any battery saver apps from the Play Store. And one more thing is that don't use local chargers to charge your phone as it will definitely damage your battery. So the next thing is installing cache clearing application in our device to increase the storage. But if you want to clear the cache, you can simply go to phone setting then storage and you will have the option to clear the cache of all the applications. So it doesn't make any sense to download this application separately to clear the cache. There are many apps which ask for unnecessary permissions and most of the time we just grant all the permission without even checking it. Now this can be very dangerous as it can take some important data from our device. So make sure to check before granting any permission to any apps that we install. That's it from the video. If you guys find it useful, then please share it with your friends and also smash that like button. If you are new to this channel, then do subscribe as well. I am Mr. Android and I will catch you in the next one.